we're in this really fascinating time when, you know, suddenly the world in which we've been in for the last 18 months is, is shifting and shifting fast and things are opening. And we have to kind of pause and, and give ourselves a chance to kind of think about how do we want to be in this new world? And for many of us, it's also this kind of question of like, how, how am I going to get used to being around people again? Do I want to go back to all my old patterns? And really recognize that you might have this incredible level of overwhelm if you just jump in and, and fill your calendar with everything you would usually do in the summer. Uh, so giving yourself some strategy and, and some strategic pause to kind of choose what are the things you want to start doing and really give each other some grace if some folks are, are ready to jump in with two feet into social interactions and if some of our friends and family might be really kind of slow to emerge from COVID. So recognizing that there's a big spectrum there and really taking care of each other as we ease back in. I think this is a really exciting moment where as vaccination levels are rising, we're starting to actually have some anticipation of doing those things again. Uh, but I would just say easing into them uh, rather than trying to jump in all at once, I feel like there will be a bit of a readjustment period to being around people and, and doing some of those old things. With friends, I think, it, I think it actually helps to just kind of articulate where you're at and how you're feeling. Uh, so to some degree, I think it's, it's very appropriate to just say, hey, we're still feeling pretty conservative. Um, I'm going to keep my mask on even though we're going for a walk outside. You know, that's just kind of where I'm at. And then I think people can kind of be like, ah, okay. And, and, you know, I think giving each other a lot of grace and avoiding any kind of judgment or comparisons at this point is, is pretty helpful. If I think about UW Medicine, uh, we've had folks that never were left the workplace and in fact kind of went more into kind of a, a you know, front of the room in the ER navigating folks coming into the hospital and with kind of unknown illness. And for them, they're like feeling very safe right now and feeling like pretty much ready to set their masks on fire because they're like done with this. Uh, the flip side is we've had some folks who have been working from home since March and had really limited uh, time outside and time with other people. And for them, they're still kind of tiptoeing back into walking into a workplace building, you know, coming back indoors. Uh, and just recognizing that they're just at a different place than folks that have been kind of front and center and working uh, kind of on our floors and on our units in real time throughout the pandemic. Uh, so trying to help those folks recognize where each other's at and give each other a lot of grace in kind of navigating that, that big spectrum. I think our level of conservativeness in how we are out and about in the world has really kind of been a f factored into uh, who is kind of the most vulnerable in our, in our group, in our teams. Um, certainly after my parents got vaccinated, I felt much better than my wife and I were able to get vaccinated, but we still have a five-year-old who is not yet able to. So that actually is right now our most kind of limiting factor in terms of our, our conservative approach. So my wife and I have managed to go out to eat indoors uh, last week, which was really exciting. But I think we're gonna pause and wait before we go out to eat indoors with our kiddo until she can get vaccinated as well. So I think that, that lends towards how do we still make sure we're kind of protecting our most vulnerable person in our group uh, is probably a good approach, um, just because we wanna make sure she stays safe and we keep everybody else around us safe. I think the big, the big thing I've tried to come back to throughout this pandemic is worry about and control what we can control and don't worry about and, and kind of stress about the pieces we can't. So I can't necessarily control if somebody else is within six feet of me, like walking down the street, I can try and move around. I certainly can't control whether somebody else masks. Um, I can certainly try to influence, but cannot control whether or not somebody gets vaccinated. Uh, but by trying to you know, within the sphere of my control, do my best not to have been sick over this time and really do my best to make sure I'm keeping the folks around me safe. Um, and that's, that's as good as we can get. And in this sequence, we've actually had a couple times, both when COVID started, now really as COVID's ending, where we get to really kind of choose what our new patterns look like. And I, I think it's 
actually an incredible moment of opportunity to, to kind of leverage and think intentionally about our own well-being and how it is we want to be in the world. So I'm, I'm hopeful that we can come out of this in a way in which we are probably better than we were going in.